if it's if it's really not a problem for you to handle it, then why would you be entertaining it if there's nothing that? I'm having a hard time at my level. There's always different levels to it. So it looks like 50 Cent couldn't just stay away from all this Tupac's investigation drama. And while the streets are buzzing about the possible arrest of none the other Puff Diddy, the G-Unit CEO is joining this chant and he's not holding back on this one, openly accusing the music mogul of this high profile crime. It's not the first time when 50 was claiming about Diddy's involvement in Tupac's shooting, and apparently it has always been perceived as a joke. You all know how the G-Unit leader loves to throw jabs at Diddy every now and then, hinting at his intimate preferences. He says <laughs> things, he doesn't even know what he's saying is like fruity. However, no more jokes. The situation with Pac's case is quite serious, and since there's been a movement in this case recently, it looks like the police should take 50's claims into consideration. You see, guys, when Lapped arrested the Southside Compton's gangster Keefe D, the whole mess reignited with new power. We are here today to announce the arrest of 60-year-old Dwayne Keith Davis, a.k.a. Keefe D. Apparently, Las Vegas PD started poking around in 2018. All cause Keefe D couldn't keep his mouth shut on TV and documentaries. It all kicked off after that Pac and Biggie documentary dropped in 2015, and Keefe documentary dropped in 2015, and Keefe death tapes were a part of this movie. This dude felt like it's his moment to shine, and he went on TV shows and YouTube channels, bragging to everyone about how he was the big shot behind Tupac shooting. I ain't gonna go into details like that, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, you know, you got it in a book. Well, Keefe D was enjoying his moment of glory right until the moment he was arrested. However, let's not forget that all these years since 2018, Keefe D was pointing fingers at Puff Daddy, the bad boy record exec. He's saying Puff bankrolled the whole hit, even though Keefe D never saw a dime. So 50 Cent doesn't hold back, and he openly tells Diddy to start hiring lawyers to defend himself in court. If Keefe D's claims about Puffy putting a bounty of Pac's head are proved, the bad boy, Seal, might need some of the best lawyers in the country. So 50 Cent posted a photo of Tupac on the night of the fatal shooting to his Instagram account. The caption alludes to the statements Keefe D has mentioned over the years, trying to pin the crime ditty. And you see, guys, while the whole hip-hop world knows about what had happened that night, there's still one person who refuses to play a snitch in this story. And that's the guy who's been beside Tupac on that fateful night, his producer, Shug Knight. He already refused to testify against Keefe D. Uh, thousand percent. I wouldn't go. I wouldn't testify. None of that. At the, you know, at the end of the day, free Keefe D. Well, with Keefe D now behind bars as a suspect, we're still left with that open question of Puffy's involvement. People are firmly believing that it was, in fact, Puff Daddy who ordered the hit. And 50's joining the party with his not-so-subtle hints. His post on Instagram had quite a bold caption, Damn so Pac got lined by Brother Love. Lol time to lawyer up. Stuff might get sticky. Puff hasn't clapped back yet, but Keefe D is singing like he hasn't before, trying to pin this all on the bad boy owner. Well, the story gets really dramatic, and apparently Diddy's found himself on a quite hot seat. You see, there's firm belief that Tupac fell the victim of Diddy's doings. First of all, even before that shooting in Vegas, Tupac's life was already in danger. It happened in 1994 in front of a recording studio in New York, and the late rapper himself hinted that Diddy organized the incident with Pac's being shot and robbed. This whole incident kicked off a massive beef between Tupac and Puffy, and things got escalated when Pac was signed by Suge Knight, another notorious figure in the rap world. Insiders claim that both Knight and Pac were harboring some serious grudges against Puffy and Bad Boy Records. And while the West Coast rappers were trying to deal with their enemies through hurtful diss tracks, Diddy, in his usual manner, chose to do real bodily harm. Dang, his hand should be chopped. Her hand should be chopped off. His or her hands should be, that's the way I feel about. Now, with Tupac's own suspicions and the whole rap community basically pointing finger at Diddy, the main question is why the police are being so slow and cautious in their actions against the music mogul. It seems like the whole world is waiting for Bad Boy CO to finally go down for this crime. As one person commented, I'm waiting on Diddy to confess like he used to on them old records. Yeah, I put money on that F, now who hit who up first? And another user added that Keefe D had been spilling the whole truth since the start. Maybe he's talking because he never got paid. Now, if he's going down, he's taking the banker with him. The twists and turns just keep on coming. And guys, it looks like not only 50 Cent, but the whole world believes that Puffy deserves a one-way ticket to jail. Even Puffy's ex-bodyguard, Gene Deal, claimed that Diddy got mad amidst this rap feud and really wanted to make a change. He said, um, I'm a businessman. I'm about making money. But... Something got to change. Well, you see what happened. Apparently, Diddy got scared for his life and he wanted to make things change. Especially when in the summer of 96, Tupac dropped that fiery diss track hit him up targeting Puff and Biggie. 
It's when Puff supposedly met with Keefe D in Los Angeles. Rumor has it a cool million bucks was on Pac and Suge Knight's heads after that. In 97, police reports from a confidential informant confirmed that Puffy had allegedly ordered a hit on Pac and Suge Knight. The Southside Compton Crips was hired to do the hit, and it was quite a generous amount of money for such a seemingly simple job. No wonder gangsters agreed and began waiting for the right moment to fulfill Puffy's wish. What they was going to do to Pac, or he's going to get dealt with or whatever like that. But I know Puff had a whip of what was going on. And the moment came very soon. You see, like in a very cool Hollywood blockbuster, things escalated quickly and unexpectedly. With Pac being the first to confront and attack Orlando Anderson, the Crisps had the motive to perform the hit. According to Keefe D, they were not going to lose this opportunity and wanted to finish with the shooting as quickly as possible to collect the bounty. So the chase game began and it was the last ride for the legendary rapper. And he happened to be hanging out the window. He's hanging out the window like he was in a parade. Tupac. Yeah, he was. According to Keefe D, the very first bullet fired skimmed Shug's head, and he initially thought it had got him. Shug claimed that it was a later shot when he was pulling Pac down that another bullet grazed his head. Shug said, Pac saved my life. I got shot in the head, got grazed some other places, but I still got the bullet in my head. It's still here. And if it was just a walk in the park for the crisps, the day after the shooting, they retrieved the weapon and drove back to Los Angeles. Now, here's where it gets even murkier. Keefe D has been telling his story since 2018, but as the lap detective said, it's difficult to believe him because the story keeps changing with every new interview. It's just Keefe D doing what he does. He keeps switching up his story because he's you know, trying to figure out how to stay above. But you see, the only thing Keefe D keeps insisting on is that Puffy promised him money but never paid. But the suspicions don't just end here. And apparently, Puffy was covering all the traces of his connection to this connection, to this case. Since the alleged shooter, Orlando Anderson was spilling way too much about his involvement in the shooting after his return to Lay, he was quietly eliminated a couple of years after, leaving the world high and dry without the suspect to lynch. On the flip side, the police claimed they encountered an associate of bad boy who informed them that Puffy had given the money to Zip, but Zip had kept it all for himself. Puffy's bodyguard, Gene Deal, did an interview where he said he saw a check from Jimmy Henchman handed to Zip, and it was for Pac's life, which Zip put in his back right pocket and decided to never pass the bounty to the crisps. Zip had a check in his right pocket, right back pocket, and that check was for a million dollars. However, in this story, there's only winner so far, and that's Puff Diddy, who hadn't been caught and somehow still manages to avoid all complications tied to this case. But it's not like 50 Cent called him out for nothing, and there are whispers in the streets and on social media that Diddy will soon get what he deserves. As one person commented, Diddy should be locked up in prison, not walking free guilty as hell. God knows Tupac was a great rapper, a lot of hater out there. And another user added, if you can't do the time, don't do the crime. Puffy is in big, big trouble if you did what they say you did. You deserve everything you get. I'm keeping it real. Well, the story is far from being over, and let's wait for another exciting turn in this investigation. Now, here's the real question. Do you think that Diddy is going to jail after so much exposure? Let me know what you're thinking, and in the meanwhile, don't forget to check my other videos. Well, that's it for now. 